Hello and welcome back to the SQL video series on how to get started with SQL. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about um, the uh, limit and fetch first statements. Um, the limit and fetch first statements are important uh, to know while uh, you are performing a select query uh, to return records and then you would like to add some specification to the uh, you know, number of records or, or anything, any conditionality to those not, to the records that are being returned to you onto your table. And what I mean by that is that, um, as you know, that I've been using this uh, select uh, statement uh, very, uh, very commonly when I need to bring uh, everything from this word indicator table for my demonstration, right? So what if I tell you that actually you don't have to uh, perform this, especially with PG admin, you don't have to perf you don't have to write a uh, statement to um, bring everything from a table onto your uh, table output here. What if I tell you that you can actually easily uh, go to your table, whichever table it is, you know, go to your table that you're interested in to to view on your output. Right click on it and then click on View Edit Data and then click on All Rows, which means all of the data. Uh, and you click on it and then you're going to get uh, everything just like we did here with the select statement for all of the data from the world indicator we could do that the same thing using uh, the manual uh, you know command uh, drop down menu command here by viewing editing data and all rows there is something that's different here in the in the uh, in the uh, sequel that project that is shown here that's the that's that's produced from our uh, action command of viewing all of the data is that uh, by default it it captured the prefix of the schema which is okay and then something else it is done is that it ordered um, the uh, the table by the country ID and it sorted it by the ascending uh, uh, form so that's something that you know we don't do it while we run ours However, um, SQL, when you don't specify an order by um, clause, then by default, it's, it, it sorts or orders your uh, table, uh, that the, the column of the table by the ascending order. So, um, so that was, um, you know, that's cool to know. So you don't have to run uh, a C select uh, uh, command each time you want to bring your table. Now, there are a couple other um, easy, easily um, done queries, uh, select queries. For example, the first hundred rows. Now, this is going to return the first hundred rows. Now, you should be asking, like, why the first hundred rows? How does how does uh, uh, PG admin know uh, which first hundred rows? Are these the first hundred rows that are just placed there? randomly or is there a parameter or uh, some sort of conditionality that you know that specifies each row as you know that that quantify each rows in terms of numbers and then it selects those first hundred numbers is yes, exactly right uh, so what it does is as you can see um, you know it's important for you to know the order of operation especially when you're writing scripts regardless of what language you use so the order of operation here is that it's selecting everything from the from the table, but then it's ordering it by country ID and ascending uh, for form. And then once it does that, it performs a limit of 100 on it. So it, it tells, give me the first 100. Give me the first 100 that's on the table. And which, since it's ascending, the first 100 is going to be those numbers that are lower from from those below them. So then you're going you're going to get the first 100 uh, records or rows that are you know that start from the lowest one all the way to 100 and that's because uh, we added the you know there's a limit of 100 now something else uh, something else is available the last 100 rows so uh, you know uh, easily you know each time you want to do if you want to check uh, uh, your table you don't have to uh, you know you don't have to write a statement to bring your table you can just simply use this now this last 100 rows same concept except that this time the ascend the order by is going to be changed to descending and as i just explained uh, uh sql is, is 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 smart but not smart enough to give you the last so what's going to happen is uh you know the the uh, the the statement the command itself the logic itself 
orders the table by the country ID, by this column, and the descending form. And then it, it performs the, um, the, uh, action, the, uh, expression or, of, uh, or the clause of limit to bring the first hundred for you. So, uh, once your data is spread and, and, you know, sorted by, uh, descending order, uh, uh, then the first hundred rows will be the first hundred rows that have the highest number. So that's 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 what the logic is behind the limit, especially when you're using it by uh, using it through the drop the drop down command that's available in PG Admin, and then you have the filter rows, which is you know another functionality where you can add um, you know uh, uh, additional uh, uh, conditionality uh, clauses and expressions here while you're performing a, a, a select query. Uh, but we can also do that inside the uh, query tab here. Uh, okay, so now you should be uh, asking that, what if I want to look at not not the 100, what if I want to look at five or seven? And that's why uh, I was saying earlier that, you know, uh, the limit, uh, the limit uh, statement actually uh, makes that uh, possible for you. It um, it uh, it optimizes it. It, it streamlines it, it. It allows you the flexibility to be able to um, uh, uh, you know modify those uh, number of records that that you are limiting the table to. So and the, the way it works is uh, I'm going to start with the syntax. Uh, the way, uh, you're going to write select everything and then from what indicator, which is the uh, table name. And then you're going to uh, uh, add the order by clause. It's important to put the order by clause because you know you're limiting the number of records, but you don't know what what side should it limit to from the upper side, limiting the highest highest part of the table, or should it limit it by the lowest part of the table. So that's why it's important for you to specify the order of the table before you even perform any, uh, uh, before you even think about limiting, uh, bringing or selecting uh, certain records or limiting certain records on your output. So order by, and we need to say country ID, and we put uh, ascending, which is already ascending. And then uh, lastly, we're going to say limit, and this time let's say we put eight. So uh, we're going to uh, do exactly uh, what you would do here using the drop-down menu to say first hundred rows, except that now we have added eight and we modified the hundred to eight. And let's go ahead and run this. You're going to see that now we can see the first eight, which is ascending, right? So we're going to see the first eight rows or records on our table. Now we can do the same thing to actually get the last eight, right? This one, not the last hundred rows, now the last eight. How do we do that? Same thing as I said earlier. The order of operation is that we are sending them, we are sorting them before we limit them. So uh, we're going to change this to DESC. So remember, DESC is, uh, is the, uh, keyword for descending. So uh, ASC is ascending, DEC is descending. So we're saying select everything, all the columns from the world indicator table, and then order them <clears throat> by the country ID or descending form, and then limit them by eight. Now you're going to see that it's going to be, it's going to be flipped. We're going to see the highest numbers now here shown. Let's go ahead and do it. And there you go. So start from the highest number going toward the lowest. Why? Because we change it from ascending to descending. So um, that was the uh, limit uh, in uh, the, the limit in the first part of the uh, tutorial. Uh, remember that uh, while you perform, while you uh, uh, you know writing uh, top or limit or fetch first or row number clauses and statements, make sure that uh, you know you're sure that your database system supports uh, those clauses because you know depending on the database system, some databases. Uh, uh, these sorts of um, clauses or just these sorts of um, commands are, are unknown to them, new to them. So they, they, you will get error when you run them. So make sure that you do your research before uh, before using them. And it doesn't mean that just because that database system does not support it, it doesn't mean that that functionality is not available in that database. So there's there are ways that you can work around that, meaning you can find some the equivalent of, um, of that statement of that query 
in in other in the database that you that you would like to uh, perform it in. You know, it, it won't be very highly different, but you know, there will be small um, tweaks in, in the actual syntax that you need to. Uh, updated with before applying it on a certain database. So a fetch first is uh, pretty much the same kind of close to close to limit, except that it has a little bit of additional, uh, you know, specification. Uh, uh, it gives you uh, additional specification liberty while you're doing the select statement. So let's go ahead and do look at uh, an example. So we're going to select everything from the work indicator. And this is fetching, so remember. And then we're going to say fetch first, three rows only. Now you're going to see that this is going to uh, fetch the first three rows only. So it doesn't matter if, let's say, if, if the first uh, three uh, uh, rows were, uh, let's say, uh, the, the, the first row, the country ID was, let's say, 100, or the second one was 60. It doesn't matter. The order of the the order of the column is not important, but it's just it's fetching whatever is available on the first three rows, and these are what we see on the first three rows. And you know, regardless of any sorting or ordering of any of the columns, it's just going to capture, right? It's going to fetch those those rows for you, however number of uh, you know uh, rows that you specify here. Uh, those will be uh, fetched uh, based on that number. So let's say if we say if we say uh, four, right? We could say five, and you're going to see that those five numbers will be fetched and put on your output. And again, it has it's 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 not it's it's irrelevant with uh, with the ordering of the columns and that kind of stuff. As you had just like you had to do it with the limit. With the limit, you had to specify. Uh, you know, ascending and descending uh, order of your column that would fetch. Uh, you don't have to do that. Um, you can um, you can also let's say uh, add uh, additional uh, where clauses uh, when you're doing uh, fetching or when you're doing limits. Let's say, for example, with the fetching, you want to uh, only look at the first, uh, or you only want to like first uh, fetch the first three rows. Uh, where let's say the uh, the region is Caribbean, right? Let's do that. So select, and this is the beauty of SQL that you can add clauses on top of other clauses based on your needs. So if you see the need of adding the conditional aware clause uh, on your uh, statement, then by all means go ahead and do that, as long as you know it, it meets what you're trying to attain. So we're going to add. So the order of the clauses is that. Before uh, you uh, add the fetch clause, make sure that you add the where clause. So we say where the region is uh, Caribbean. I hope I spell it right. And then we say fetch, uh, fetch the first, let's say, three rows only. All right, so we're going, we're doing the same thing we did here. This time we were just, we, we have added a a, a where clause to specify a con uh, uh, to introduce a, a conditionality to our select query. Let's go ahead and run this. And so it's telling me that uh, uh, oh, I forgot I forgot to add the work indicator. So yeah, sometimes when you're in a hurry, you forget, you forget the most important things. And there you go. Uh, there you go. These are the three. Um, rows that we fetched from the table where Caribbean or uh, Caribbean is the region for these three and we for, for uh, we fetched the first three rows based off that and again I repeated so many times I repeat again the the first is not anything related to any order that you assign it's it's those numbers that come first on the table some tables have their own order regardless of an order that we introduced to it let's say we have a table that were in you know, all of the uh, columns or uh, character values let's say abc 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 how are we going to order those so they so tables come with their own inherent orders and that's how and that's and that's where fetch comes because fetch is just grabbing those rec those records or those rows for you based on their positions on the table regardless of their number if this 11 was here 
it will still come. Let's say if if if, if this was number one thousand, but its location was here, yeah, it doesn't matter. It would still be, be coming there. Why? Because its its position is on the top of the table. If it makes sense. Um, that is. Uh, it, I'm I'm going to also run uh, one more uh, select statement using uh, for limit. This time I'm going to. Uh, this time I'm going to add the uh, where clause for limit to show you how you can also uh, uh, select uh, 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 retrieve data output using uh, a where a where a where clause, but also uh, with the uh, limit command. So let's go ahead and do that. Select everything from uh, where indicator. I'm oh, sorry, I, it doesn't matter if you put it, if you put it on the same line, but I, it's a good practice to keep it in a separate line. It, it it really helps me so and then we're going to add the conditionality and say where the country is uh, uh where the region is uh do we have asia i'm not sure asia and then lastly we're going to say limit limit three and so uh let's Let's see, let's go ahead and run it. There you go. So uh, as you can see, uh, we were able to do that. And because uh, by default it's ascending, it's it's it given us the uh, those three uh, records rows where uh, the, where uh, the Asia is a region, and uh, and there. Three. So let's just do six in this time. See if I don't think we have six uh, countries with Asia's region. Yep, they do have. Um, so uh, as you can see, I need to now specify the uh, order uh, for um, for the country ID before uh, running it. And we're going to say AC ascending and run it this time. All right, so it's telling me that in there, where? Oops, I'm supposed to put the order by uh, author the where clause. There you go. So now we performed earlier. Um, uh, we performed earlier with uh, no introduction of ordering. Now we have the uh, order by introduction and we did ascending. So now we have the first uh, six. Uh, it's not six because we don't have six uh, records, but uh, let's say just put three. The first three records where the, you know, uh, the, where the table is ordered by ascending uh, uh, form. Obviously, and uh, this is just a quick start for you, but it should um, it should definitely give you lots of directions uh, and to actually get some uh, stuff done as well as you know it's a good starting point for you to explore uh, these uh, functionality to to more details. Uh, if you uh, see value in this tutorial, please uh, appreciate it by liking or sharing my YouTube channel. And as always, thank you for watching it. Until next time. Have a great day.